Hello guys and welcome back to another Broadway Gymnastics online lesson. As always, before we start, make sure you're in a safe area with plenty of space and have the proper adult supervision. So before we start today, I'm just going to get into our schedule a little bit so you know what to be prepared for and what to focus on. So we're going to start with a basic two minute stretch. So I'm going to set a timer for two minutes and you can stretch how you prefer. Sometimes if you wake up and your calves are feeling kind of tight, you'll want to focus more on your leg stretches or if your arms are hurting, you want to stretch your arms a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit of everything, but you do what makes you comfortable. After that, we're going to get into a five minute HIIT workout today. So instead of 10 minutes, we're doing five and we're going to go heavy on the cardio. Right after that, we're going to move into our legs because as we learned last time, we're moving into some more jumps and a lot of skills that require you to push off of the floor. So we're going to do a about four minute leg workout. That's really, really, you're going to feel it. It's going to be a good one. Um, after that, we're going to revisit jumps a little bit and touch on some new jumps and then throw in some fun jump combinations and things you can practice at home. Grab a bottle of water, get yourself prepared, let's get started. stretched out and loose and ready to go. We are gonna do, like I said, a five minute hit workout. And our first exercise is gonna be our squats with a crunch. So we're gonna go squat low, crunch, alternating every time. Then we're gonna move into our skater hops with arms in, which we have done before. So we're going one leg back, swing, foot to the other side. After that one is gonna be our burpees. Then we have our fast feet. So remember for fast feet, we're going here. We're gonna go out, forward, back, out, and repeat that process. And finishing just with our lunge jumps. So we'll go lunge here. You can either go hands on your hips, arms up like this. Either one is totally fine, or if you want to switch, you can go down, up, oh. Maybe don't do that one if you have low ceilings. Um, okay, uh, as I said, so every exercise is gonna be 45 seconds with a 15 second rest in between, and then after that, we'll move on to legs. All right, let's get started. All right, starting with our lunge crunches, 45 seconds.
Alrighty, quick 15 second break and then moving into skater hops with arm swings. And time for your break, and then we're moving into our burpees. Alright, another break and then we're moving into our fast feet. Alright, and last break, and then we're going to finish up with some lunge jumps. Great job so far. We are heading into our leg workout now, which is gonna be a total of four minutes and 15 seconds. Now, we have six exercises that we're gonna be doing on each leg, and we're gonna do each for 20 seconds in a row with no breaks in between until we're switching legs. So you'll notice now that I put a blanket out on my floor because I have hardwood floors. This is a good time to get to carpet or get a yoga mat out or a blanket or whatever you got. So we're doing everything in a tabletop position, starting with kicks back, then raises, little circles, butt kicks, side and back, and fire hydrants. So if you know what any of those are, you already have a leg up. If not, just go ahead and follow along with me.
last class, we started doing our jumps. And we worked on a couple of different jumps and our arm positions when swinging back and lifting either in front or press back to the side, depending on the jump. So for today, we're gonna to take a tuck jump and we're gonna work on our landing. So I want you guys to just think about toe, ball, heel. So that's landing from the front of our foot, rolling back and pressing at the end. So we're gonna show a regular tuck jump first with the wrong landing. We're gonna go tuck. So you'll notice that landing was really, really loud because my feet landed flat at the same time. So now we're gonna try with the toe, ball, heel and see what happens. So we're gonna go swing. It's a little better. So I want you guys to work on the toe ball heel on your straight jumps, your tuck jumps, your split jumps, and your straddle jumps, and see how soft you can make your landings. But before we move on to combinations, I'm gonna show you one last jump. That's a combination of some we've already done. It's called the wolf jump. So with the wolf jump, it's the same thing, swing the arms back. Your good foot is gonna act like it's doing a split jump. So you're just gonna go straight in front. Your bad foot thinks you're doing a tuck jump. So keeping your knees squeezed together, you're gonna tuck back and kick with this foot. So it should look something like this. Swing, wolf. So you said that good leg split. The other one's just tucking right next to it. If your knees come apart, that's when it gets a little tricky. So really focus on squeezing your knees together. Let's try one more. Swing, wolf. All right, very nice on your jumps, guys. Good work. So if you feel like you're in a pretty good place with your jumps and you're ready for something a bit more difficult, we're gonna work on something called combinations. So now we're gonna be putting jumps together. So we're gonna go a little example. We have split tuck jump. So you can pick from any of your favorite jumps we've done. So mine would be wolf jump, tuck jump. So I'm gonna go swing. Something to think about is in a combination, there always has to be movement. So if I go wolf jump, wait, we lose the combination there. It's no longer a connection because I stopped and I broke the rhythm. So now let's try that without breaking a connection. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but you see how my arms had constant movement the whole time, so we got the combination. If even that was super simple for you and you're ready for something harder, you can make the first skill in your combination something that's not a joke. So if you're in a place where you have enough room, here I have a pretty good amount of space. You can do an acro skill into a jump. So an example of an acro skill could be a car wheel, a handstand, a teeter-totter, forward roll, backward roll, or log roll. For now, those should be all the ones that we know and are comfortable enough to do in a home. So again, I cannot stress this enough. If you have hardwood floors, this is probably not a safe place for you to try it. I'm gonna give it a try because I've been doing this for years. I'm gonna make sure to be extra cautious and safe, but if you do have carpet or a backyard, now would be a good time to head that way. We're gonna try a connection, so a combination of two skills with the first one being an acro skill. So we're gonna try a cartwheel wolf jump. So it should look something like this. Good, and, that, and that's a really good way to get creative and keep working on your jumps and keep working on your other skills, but giving yourself a little bit more of a challenge while we're still inside doing our gymnastics. Okay, now, we're gonna try a teeter-totter into a tuck jump. So we're gonna start in that lunge. Hold your arms up here, lever it in, kick. Very nice. And if you'll see, sometimes I can't break the habit. When you land, you want to press back or show a finish. Now, the really fun thing with these combinations is that there's no rules here. There's no limit to what you can try. If you feel comfortable doing a different jump, or maybe three jumps in a row, or maybe two acro skills into two different jumps, you can go for it. If you have a different skill that we haven't done yet, let's say you're already really good at a full turn, or you can already do turning jumps, you're welcome to try any of that with your combinations and then show us yours. We would love to see what kind of combinations you guys are thinking of at home. So please feel free to try out some cool combinations and send them in to us so we can see how you're following along with your lessons. Some quick takeaways from our jumps. Always remember, we're starting to swing back and then either arms in front or arms pressed back depending on the jump. You're more than welcome to check back on our previous video where we'll go over all the arms. 
Also, you want to keep your chin up tall and your shoulders back every time you're jumping. We want straight legs and pointed toes in our split jumps and our straddle jumps. In our tuck jumps, obviously we're asking you for bent legs, so there are always a couple of exceptions. Also remember on your landings that you want to go toe ball heel soft into the ground. The softer your landings, the better. And then for any combinations, just remember to try to have continuous movement until all of the skills in your combination are complete. So good job guys, that's all we're gonna do for class today. Remember, feel free to challenge anybody in your family or any of your friends to do your hip workouts with you and see if they can hold up. They're not as easy as people might think they are. Also, you can now revert back to any of these videos and try to put things together and work on your jumps. We've done our cartwheels. We've done lots of stuff. So feel free to keep practicing from previous videos or from this video while waiting for our next lesson because they're just going to keep getting better from here. As always, we are so excited to see you guys back in the gym and I'm so happy that you guys are still working at home. So please keep up the good work and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.